What's going on everyone? A few days ago hackers found a way to access the hidden Nintendo Switch browser using a proxy server. As usual Nintendo thought they outsmarted everyone but this simple trick allows you to browse any website which once again exposes Nintendo's ingeniousness. This is a first but important step in hacking the Switch. The way this works has been described nicely by Life Overflow's video so I'm just going to play it back for you guys. First we need to figure out how to access the browser in the Switch. You may have heard that the Nintendo Switch does not have a browser. So what the heck am I talking about? Well there is no good browser implemented but it turns out that when you connect to a Wi-Fi which requires you to log in in a captive portal it will use a browser view and load that page for you. A captive portal is common in hotels, airports and so forth. So we have to figure out how to load our own website here. When you look at the network settings you can specify a proxy server which is great because then I can run a proxy server on my laptop and intercept all the traffic. I use Burp Suite as my proxy server and just have to make sure it listens on all interfaces so other devices on the same network can use it. So now we just have to enter the IP of this laptop into the proxy settings of the switch. When we now connect to the Wi-Fi, the switch will establish a connection through this laptop. And we can see here in the burp history view that the switch tried to contact contest NintendoWiFi.net. That site just responds with a simple string that the connection works. It uses this to check if you have an internet connection or not. So if this check fails, it will think you first need to authenticate from a captive portal. So next we need to redirect this request to a different page, basically our captive portal. We can do that by simply modifying the etc host file to point the contest domain to another IP, for example localhost. Then we spawn a simple web server on our machine, for example with php-s. We can place an index.html file here to verify that this works. And with the browser we can see that we now on localhost have a web server running. So, when the switch now connects to the Wi-Fi, it will try to contact contest and it will go through the proxy on my laptop. My laptop sees in the etc host file what the IP for contest is. So the proxy will connect to localhost instead, which will access our index.html file. Now let's try it. We connect to it. It will check if there is access to the internet. It didn't get the expected result for contest back and it tells you you have to log in. When we now press next it will load what it thinks is the captive portal. Now we have access to a browser that loads our website. In case you're already confused by this, don't worry. There is a simple application released on GBA Temp which allows you to set up the server easily to reroute the traffic. So far so good. We can browse any website, but what does this do for the hacking community? If you paid any attention to what the Wii U and 3DS communities did, you would know that they used specially crafted websites to exploit the user land on the console. In regards to this, there has also been progress by finding and applying a well-known iOS exploit which happens to function just fine on the Switch after some modifications. This works because Nintendo is using an old WebKit version, most likely because they thought that no one is going to access the browser anyway. So far it seems like there is no code execution yet, so user land access is just around the corner. Remember that this still will not allow you to do much, since the code execution is still locked inside the browser and cannot go outside without a kernel exploit. This works very similarly to the Wii U. Furthermore, dumping the internal NAND memory succeeded and hackers tried to boot the console without the storage media. They landed in the recovery mode of the console. This might be one step in the direction of creating a custom firmware. However, writing back such a modification is currently not possible due to a missing encryption key. The encryption key cannot be reliably cracked. Alright, that is all for now. Thank you for watching and see you next time.